Oh man, guess what I just got? I just bought a flipping fedora. Can I, can I interest you in some facts and logic, m'lady? Since time immemorial, I've been called a Reddit atheist neckbeard by a lot of devout religious people. As much as I haven't wanted to play into the stereotype, I saw this thing at the thrift store today, and it was just like, fuck it, I'm buying this. Man, I'm on like the ninth level of irony right now. Can I d do whatever, m'lady? I don't know, I'm not familiar with this meme. I'm not familiar with a lot of early 2010s memes, am I? I'm not familiar with Nyan Cat or uh, Velociraptor or condescending Willy Wonka, but I guess now I'm the meme. It's like, do I keep the fedora and only use it for skits where I'm talking against a cartoon atheist, the stereotypical atheist that everyone thinks all atheists are, even though Atheism isn't a dogmatic religion with organized costumes and, and scripture and whatnot. I've now become a walking stereotype. When they called me a neckbeard, I made sure to get a razor and shave my neckbeard off just so they couldn't call me that anymore, but they kept calling me that. So I guess religious people are just going to keep feeding into this 2012 meme that literally does not apply to atheists anymore considering that Atheists are an extremely diverse group at this point, and Christianity is on a massive decline in all 50 states, statistically speaking, but, oh yeah, I'm gonna become the meme right now. Gosh dang, in this moment, if I ain't feeling some rockets of euphoria shooting up through me like a gosh dang Apollo 11 surge, then I don't know where it's at. You know what else? I've been listening to too much Beck lately. I can play where it's at on the piano now. This is disturbing. This is literally the only song I know how to play on piano. Get out your meme machines. It's time to scream because I'm the gosh dang meme king. I mean, what do I do, you know? Do I, do I argue against myself wearing this hat? Or do I become the hat? I'm turning into a hipster. Next thing you know, I'm going to be talking about the logic of our sex laws and I'm going to stop talking about how I have a devil's haircut in my mind. I'm undergoing some kind of sick transformation, like Jekyll and Hyde. I gotta say, like, you know, if, if becoming a, like a stereotypical meme person is what it takes to have style this good, then sign me the flip up. It's fedora time. Oh, that's painful too. Yeah, yeah. Oh dang it. I got I got a fedora. Yeah. Do I do I turn into the hat? Am I the hat? I, I'm kidding, I'm probably not gonna wear this in any of my other videos. Or I might, because just like how atheism is a movement of free expression and free thought, I'll wear whatever I want, whenever I want. The same way I'll buy into whatever religion or support whatever religion I want over any other religion. I can do anything, because I'm a free agent with free will in a universe that really doesn't give a shit about me or the life I lead or anything really, and the only consequences I face are legal and terrestrial. Milady? Can I interest you in some craft beer? A Pabst Blue Ribbon, perhaps? I'm so far into being ironic that the uh, irony has just completely destroyed any potential sincerity I could have had. I'm beyond the point of being expressing myself in, in a genuine way. I, I've just become a meme man. I'm, I'm just a meme person now. Destination a little up the road from the habitations and the towns we know place we saw the lights turn low with the jigsaw jazz and the get fresh flow and the, and the but I'm becoming like a hipster I, I don't know what's wrong with me I don't know what's wrong with me why do I have a fedora the fuck 
I get this. What? How did I get this fedora? Well, anyway. This video is dedicated to Annie Laurie Kaler, president of the Freedom From Religion Foundation. She sure is a cool gal. If you enjoyed it, go ahead over there and donate some money to the Freedom for Religion Foundation. It looks pretty gosh dang cool, if I do say so myself. And buy Nicholas Comics.